Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting our channel. But if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so and we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they come. And together we shall walk with our great leader, Mazin Namde Kano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality. He said, A former Navy Commodore, Olakunle Olawumi, have said that Boko Haram terrorists mention names of current governors, senators, and Asu Rock officials who are Fulani Janjaweed as sponsors during interrogation, but the president. Buhari has demonstrated unwillingness to go after the high-profile politicians because they work together. They work together. Olaomi, a professor of global security studies, said he was a member of the intelligence brief at the defense headquarters during the leadership of the then chief of defense staff, General Abayomi Oloni Sherkin, retired. According to Commodore Olakunle Olaumi, he said that he belongs to a group in the military that is not supposed to be seen or heard. He said that right now he does not care if he is killed by the Fulani Nigerian government as they killed the former chief of defense staff, Alex Badi, who also wanted to expose Buhari and his government involvement in terrorism. According to Olaomi, he said that he lost his families in the hand of Fulani terrorists. Southerners, Middle Belt, and Christian officers and soldiers should learn from this courageous officer and resign a mass because their continued stay in the Fulani controlled military will lead to their untimely death. My brothers and my sisters, allow me described as an abrasion the Tuesday attack by the terrorist bandits Fulani bloodthirsty bandit Fulanis on the Kaduna campus of the Nigerian foremost military university. The Nigerian Defense Academy, where two Southern officers, which included a Biafran officer, were killed and another kidnapped. It is an abrasion. According to allow me, you don't attack the Nigerian Defense Academy and get away with it. He lamented, adding that the Nigerian Defense Academy, like other military environments in the country, carelessly open his door to everyone on Friday for Jumat Muslim prayers. Terrorists profile security environments during Muslim prayers on Friday. He said in 2017, I carried out an investigation by the Minister of Defense that wanted him to check what was going on with the training and security at NDA. Olani Allow me remember that he spent about a week at NDA with the commandant and the staff, but something struck him. Every Friday, the gate of NDA is thrown open and everybody has access to pray in the mosque. On Fridays, according to him, he said that you are going to see same thing happening across military formation in the country. He said that if you go to defense headquarters, he served there at the defense headquarters as the deputy director of defense administration between, between 2015 and 2017. Throughout his two years at defense headquarters, he received visitors twice because of the strict security architecture there. But every Friday, the gate of the defense headquarters is thrown wide open for everybody to come in and observe the Muslim Friday Jumat prayer because that was another, an order, an express order 
from the Fulani Nigerian government. You know, he said that that is the time the terrorists have the time to profile their security environment. Olaumi said so. According to him, he said he told the general Olana Shekun then that the center of the problem cannot be solved the same way they solved the problem of the Niger Delta militants, according to the way they call them. He said the Niger Delta problem was solved during Yaradwa's era, basically by him, and he told them that they cannot use the same template for Boko Haram terrorists and the Fulani terrorist bandits. According to him, he said it, that he told them that the center of gravity of Boko Haram and the Fulani terrorists in Nigeria is the sponsors of the program. It was beyond them because the job they needed to do was kinetic but they cannot resolve issue of sponsors of Boko Haram and Fulani terrorists that were in Buhari's government. Even the president was also involved. And they know them. That was why they couldn't pursue that aspect that could have resolved the issue because they needed to arrest people. But Buhari refused because he's one of the sponsors. 400 people were gathered as sponsor of Boko Haram. Why, it, it, why is it that the Buhari government have refused to try them? These governments will not bring them for trials because they are partisan and part of the chariot that is going on. According to Commodore Olaumi, he said that he was in the military intelligence at the time. They arrested some Boko Haram terrorists. His organization actually conducted interrogation and the suspect or the terrorists mentioned names. He said that he cannot come on air and start mentioning names of those that are presently in the government because they will go after him. That he knows that the boys that they arrested mentioned. He said that some of them are governors now. Some of them are in Senate and some are in Asorok. According to Commodore Olaumi, he said, why should the government decide to cause this kind of embarrassment and insecurity to the sense of what happened yesterday, that is at NDA? Adding that terrorist financiers wants to turn Nigeria to Taliban-type countries. Criminal DSS has information on terrorism sponsors, but can't act without Buhari's order. But they have been given orders to arrest Biafrans and other peaceful Nigerians who are against the Fulani agenda. Olaumi also said that the criminal DSS has tremendous information on terrorists but they can't do anything except the body language of the commander-in-chief, which is, who is Buhari, and he is the chief terrorist. Earlier, a former deputy governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Obadai Malafia, said in August 2020 that repentant terrorists revealed that a serving Northern governor is a Boko Haram leader. It's a Boko Haram leader. Two Channel TV presenters, Chamberlain Uso and Kayode Okikiolu, have been arrested by the criminal Fulani control DSS for interviewing Navy Commodore Lakunle Olaumi, who divulged all this information. This same criminal DSS did not arrest the Fulani Islamic preacher who threatened to kill Christians in Plateau states, and now his threat has happened. It has happened. They killed over 40 Christians in Jaws, Plateau State. And nothing has happened. And nothing has happened to the Fulani terrorists. There is no riot act or riot statement from the Nigerian government. 
Nigerians must support via France in their fight against this Fulani terrorist Janjaweed ruling Nigeria to break up the zoo called Nigeria so that the indigenous will be free. Because waiting until 2023 might be too dangerous because the Fulani Janjaweed have planned out their evil plot against Nigerians and Biafrans. So everybody must wake up. All hands must be on deck. A Nigerian Islamic right group, Muslim right consign, Murik, have called on the public to ignore all forms of ongoing anti-Taliban program propaganda emanating from the American government. My brothers and my sisters, you see that Murik and the Fulani terrorists are all working together to Fulanize and Islamize Nigeria. Murik accused the American government of carrying rumor that the new Taliban government in the country would embark on a mass execution of citizens of Afghan that stayed behind after the airlifting process and the Afghan government have pleaded with the American government that if they take all Afghan away from Afghanistan, that who would they rule that they need the Afghanistan people to stay back? According to Professor Ishak Akitola, director of Mori, he stated that the new Taliban government should be allowed to settle down due to its various promise to recognize stipulated rights of Afghanistan citizens. The Mori founder and director, Professor Ishak Akitola, in a statement of said and warned Bishop Matthew Koka, the Catholic Bishop of Sokoto and other Nigerians, to stop the habit of running to America to run down their own country. My brothers and my sisters, you can see that these are terrorist organizations. During the NDA attack by the Fulani terrorist bandit, they operated without hindrance and broke into five flats without resistance because the Nigerian troops were ordered by Buhari to stand down. And that was the reason why the troop did not respond to distress calls on time. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video, and bye-bye for now.